today we will be showing you how to back up a trailer and attach your trailer to your vehicle. So your hitch you have, it is attached with a pin and a rod to the vehicle. You have a ball on the hitch. When you're attaching a trailer, you want to make sure your ball size matches the hitch ball socket size. So. I backed it up here. I used a line inside the bed of the gator to align the hitch and ball. And so now what I will do is I'll pull it forward and I'll rotate this bar to lower the ball onto the hitch. And it's on there. And I'm going to pull a lever, flip up my wheel lock my ball mount and if you were doing this with a vehicle with lights you'd take the wires and plug them into the vehicle in the proper socket so now I'm gonna tell you about backing a trailer and driving a trailer around so when you are driving a trailer you always want to watch your mirrors make sure your trailer is right behind you in your mirrors and it's not attached trailers will have chains every once in a while that attached to your vehicle so that if the hitch does come off you're caught on those chains you can get over the side of the road so always watch for that also before driving a trailer you'll check your lights turn signals brakes that sort of stuff and when you're driving a trailer you always want to make wider turns make sure the trailer's not going to go up on a curb and dump your mulch say you got mulch in the trailer you will also want to go a little bit under the speed limit or slower than you normally drive in case an emergency happens and you need to sl slow the vehicle down. So when backing a trailer, it's opposite of driving normally. So if I would back up normally, I would pull the wheel to the right and the back of my vehicle would go off to the right. I would pull the left, the back of my vehicle would go off to the left. Well, with a trailer, since it's on that ball, it's going to be opposite. So. Uh, an easy way to understand how it works is hold down here at the bottom of your wheel. If you're pushing to the right, the back of your trailer is going to go to the right. You're pushing to the left, the back of your trailer is going to the left. So if I were to make a left-hand turn, which would put my left side out, it actually put the right side of the trailer out. So this way is just easier to understand. If I push right, the trailer goes to the right. If I push left, the trailer goes to the left when in reverse.
Yep. Here are some things to always do when driving your vehicle or pulling a trailer or anything like that. Always make sure your turn signals and lights work after you plug them in. Make sure your tires are aired up. Make sure your vehicle's has its parking brake on whenever you're attaching or detaching or just sitting anywhere. It's always good to have that on. Make sure everything is tight on your trailer, so your lug nuts, your um, the when your ball is attached to the trailer, make sure that's tight because sometimes you can have it, you can have your trailer on there, but it's not actually locked on. Some other things to always check is if you have braking on your trailer, make sure you have that wired up also. Make sure it works. Go. When pulling a trailer or using a trailer in any way, when you have your trailer attached to your vehicle, do not leave the leg down and drive off with that. That would lead to a very bad situation. Make sure your parking brake is always on. If you leave that off, your trailer and vehicle could roll down. So say you're Backing in a boat down the boat ramp. There goes your vehicle and your trailer. Also, I would make sure that you don't use the wrong size ball and make sure your hitch is always attached. Here's another example of a trailer. This one has a load and it is attached to a truck. So here we have our chains that I was explaining earlier. Chains have gone to loops right there. Our plug for our lights and turn signals plugged into the vehicle. We have chains holding down our load. Now this load is not weighed in properly your load should always be right above the axle of the trailer now if you have mulch or something you'll probably want to put a tarp and tie it down so you can use chains to tie down your load you can use ratchet straps you can even use tie rope and all we're making sure is the load is tight and will not move while we are transporting it Go through your normal safety precautions. Make sure your trailer hitch is nice and locked in. If I want to fix this load here, I would mix, I would move the mower back so its rear wheels are either on top of this rear wheel or in between, right in between the two axles. 